Jason's computer then. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so the live stream is going on Facebook. I don't know what it, there, I'll just have a look on my iPad and see. And the recording is, it looks like we're recording now. That's great, okay. Here's my iPad. Okay. Here. So I'll just, just do the, the uh, formal part. This is uh, Sunday, the 9th of August, 2020. And we're in uh, the weekly Webheads Revival Sandbox and Final Talon Funinar. I used to call them open micinars, now I call it funinar. I don't know. Fun, do you know what fun stands for? Have you, did you figure that out? I'm talking fun? Fun, yeah, if you and, the and, and telling, okay. It stands for frivolous, unanticipated nonsense. So it's a way to enjoy yourself in online uh, meetings. So that's what I try to encourage. I try to encourage people to have fun, teachers to have fun. And fun stands for frivolous, unanticipated nonsense. So that's kind of what we try to encourage uh, we think it works really quite well. We've been doing this for 20 years. People keep coming back for it. So um, anyway, okay, that's it. So we're, this is the 483rd episode of Learning Together. And it's the 37th Cat Talon webinar. Talon is teaching and learning in isolation. But I've, I'm changing it now to be teaching and learning in the new normal. So I'm going from Talon 1, which is teaching and learning in isolation, to Talon 2, which is teaching and learning in the new normal. And here's Heike. Great. Okay. So we've, we've, uh, great. Okay, Heike, I, I turned off the, uh, the waiting room. I think you'll be happy to hear that. It was after you waited, after we kept you waiting for, you said 10 minutes or something in the last, you're still muted. Unmute yourself. There you go. You, said you you turned off the waiting room. Yeah, it was I just getting in the way. I see yeah. chi. I see chi. Yeah, <laughs> chi is uh, Minnie's teacher. She's uh, from China, and she's I don't, actually she should tell us what tell us what you're doing in uh, in China, Minnie. How are you learning English? Uh-huh. Well, um, I have been learning English for about 10 more years. Uh, I educate my, myself because uh -huh. I haven't went to, I haven't gone to college. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I spent seven years to get my bachelor's degree on English literature. Mm -hmm. what, what took so long? <laughs> Why did it take so long? Because I have to work. Um, Monday through Friday, and I have to take care of my in-laws and my, my daughter, and also everything. And um, that's, um, you know, uh, I have to study um, when, when I have spare time on mm -hmm. weekends, and uh, maybe when I uh, do the dishes, I will just wear earphones to listen to the English uh, audios <laughs> mm -hmm. so that I can Wonderful. pass the examinations. Wonderful. Yeah, in 2004, um, I started a kids English lesson when um, only on weekends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally in there, there were uh, 12 children under 12 years old. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I just use um, a set of book textbooks called Playway to English. It's uh, from Britain, I think. And um, with the Britain English dialect. Um, but I, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not used to that. Uh, I only teach in, in an American dialect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have been helping them for about 10 years in 2014, my in-laws got sick and have, uh, I, I needed, I was needed in the hospital, so I stopped. And um, at that time, I, 
I, I have met uh, Mr. Chi on the internet. We talk on Skype. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, I was not that good on, you know, like speaking or listening. I have to say you're perfect now. No, I'm still learning. <laughs> I need to learn something, um, how, to, how to teach on the internet so that well, I can yes. have a lot of children here. Yeah, yes. of course, ah, yeah. I think it's the best way to teach, especially, you know, children, right? Mm -hmm. To assist them to find, to find out uh, what they're going to do in the future. And, uh, and also it's a pleasant thing to, you know, while looking directly in their eyes, you know, you, their earning eyes, you know, they want to learn something really um, excited. Very exciting is, is very, when they are um, doing role plays, or two role plays together and sketches, a rhythm, a rhyme, and with dancing, when, when they are talking about, when, it, when I taught them um, English in, in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's good old days. Um, but now uh, my nest is empty. My in-laws passed away, and um, mm. my daughter started working in Beijing. And um, well, I have a lot of time, so I think I I need to learn English, and uh, I also need to learn how to teach English to the younger students. And um, I want to keep on doing that. So that's why I I now uh, now I'm as one of Chi's students on the internet. <laughs> mm. How is he teaching? Um, well, it's about, uh, it's kind of, um, mm, he wants to teach us uh, how to make speech and debate. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in fact, uh, that's, that's my interest. Mm -hmm. I once gave him a speech when uh, in 2006, I won the second place in my company, Sinopec, mm -hmm. China mm -hmm. Sinopec, yeah. And um, so I think, yeah, that's good because language is not a knowledge, it's a tool to communicate with, with um, native speakers and maybe <clears throat> they need to use it um, in the foreign company or maybe in uh, webinar <laughs> one day mm -hmm. <laughs> in the other countries or you know they need to 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 write a paper in English and they need to give speech like TED TED <laughs> mm -hmm. I watch that a lot yeah I, I really like it <laughs> you want you... to not TED talk TED or TV. TED, T E, yeah, T E D. Yeah. Uh -huh. speech, yeah. yeah. Less yeah. than fifteen minutes speech, right? There really was. cool, I think. Yeah, I love that. You're doing yeah, quite wonderful. well. You might, you might also <laughs> like a lot um, a new podcast series by the British Council, uh, British, no, BBC. It's mm -hmm. called We Think. And it talks, uh, it gets a lot of thought leaders uh, on this planet to give us an idea what they think the, uh, the time post-COVID should be or post-corona should be. It's called Rethink. And it now has approximately 60 podcasts of each five minutes in length. And some of the thought leaders uh, that are speaking there are the uh, Prince Charles, uh, the Pope, uh, Dalai Lama, and many, many from the industry or uh, scientists, doctors. And uh, it's a wonderful podcast series. I'm really, really excited to listen to it. Can you put its link in the text chat? I will do. Oh, thanks very much. It's very enlightening. Yeah. yeah, I've listened to about 20 of them already and I find them so good. Well, that's kind of what I'm moving Talon to. Perhaps you're aware I'm, I've decided to, uh, I, with EVO coming up, I'm not really going to have time to track Talon teaching and learning in isolation. So I thought I would change it to TC, 
teaching and learning in the new normal. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, I read all about it, and I think it's a very good move. That's really Alan, sweet. Alan squared. <laughs> Alan squared, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you I could pull... call version two. Point o, but you call it Talon squared. <laughs> yeah, I don't really plan to go into Talon <laughs> power of three, but uh, it, it, because teaching and learning the new normal, that's Talon, which ends in isolation. Talon squared, that's two ends, I suppose. So, um, yeah. Allow me just to grab my coffee. It, I made it and I just quickly, I'm back. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, no problem. Well, let me let me pull up a screenshot just so I'll put it here in the in the. Uh, oh, Graham, he can't make it today. Okay, okay, Graham has just texted that he Where is. is he? No telling, but he's welcome. <laughs> so um, let me just do a screen share here. So I just get uh, teaching and learning in isolation squared on the in the. Um, Share screen. Here we go. Okay. So there's my Facebook page, and there's teaching and learning in isolation. So I, I my cat is a uh, is a designer. Mm-hmm. So okay. He designed this new uh, this new uh, logo. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can really see it very well there, but I think over in here. Let me pull up this one. Oh, here we go. Okay, you can see that one a little bit better. You can see how my cat is designing this new logo. It used to be teaching and learning in isolation, but he's changed it now to teaching and learning in the new normal. So um, it's got the same uh, Facebook page and the same um, the same hashtag. That's Talon2020 because I couldn't get Talon. It was already taken. Mm-hmm. So, um, so basically, what I'm trying to do actually is, uh, I, I think talent in isolation came about when I was in Thailand and I was giving workshops there in January, and this whole thing was coming along. I did an e-learning course following up on the on the workshops, and in the e-learning course, which went from February into March. Um, the uh, school closure started happening and it was a course on blended learning. The people began to realize that blended learning is really important because that's where you, you jump from there to your online teaching. So, um, but at the time it was teaching and learning in isolation. So people were wondering how to, how do I move into strictly online teaching and learning? And, um, also they, um, uh, people, you know, I, I decided to start this group to see if we could have people talk about that. And I got 37 webinars with probably about a, a dozen. I've got this over here somewhere too. Let's see, here we go. So, um, oh no, I think I put it in the learning together page. Yeah, I put the, I put the, about the webinars here. This is in uh, learning, uh, learningtogether.pbworks.com. And I put all the webinars that we had. Uh, Michael Coughlin uh, started us off by um, suggesting that we revive the web heads because he was feeling lonely in Australia and he wanted to com- to communicate with our teachers. So let's see if I can open these up. So he started this one. Um, he said we should meet and talk about uh, web heads in action and kind of re- revive that. And then Jane Shen and I did some, uh, did a, we went, to, we, we were supposed to go to TESOL in Denver, but it got canceled. And so to illustrate this fact that the, the thing that we we're trying to, the session that got canceled in TESOL, we just decided to do it online. So we did it in three parts. And we got the people who were making the presentation, we got them online and we had them uh, give their TESOL presentations online. All the links are here at uh, at Learning Together. And then all these other 
uh, all these other ones link as well. So this is basically links to all the different presentations we did. Uh, for example, let's see, I'll just pull up Nick Peachy's here because it's, uh, he talked about the uberfication of language teaching, what's next in lockdown. But the interesting thing about that was that we, it, we um, got a Zoom bomber. And so Heike and I, Heike and I independently started wondering how to cope with Zoom bombers. And so we ended up doing a presentation on how to defuse Zoom bombers. And all these are online. You can get them here. I'll just put this in the text chat, make sure everybody can find it. So um, this, is the, this is the link to all of that. It's all going to move to learningtogether.net. Right now it's here. So 37 presentations got done in this. Uh, this was Talon 1. So this is uh, these 30 presentations, 37 presentations were our oof, I think. And, but it's a little bit hard for me to track all of this when I have already learning together. This is what it all falls under. It falls under learning together, really. And so learning together is still there, the link I just put in the text chat. And so instead of calling them Talon presentations, I think I'll just call them learning together from now on and keep the Talon squared Facebook page, which is, um, let's see if we've got it here. I think it must be here. That's Facebook. Okay, I'll just, here, here it is, Teaching and Learning Online. So that's the Facebook page. I'll put that in the text chat. There's an ant crawling on my screen, and I think it's my mouse moving. So anyway, there you are. So that one is showing that um, it's the same, except that I'm not going to be maintaining the, the, the uh, Talon 2020, um, I'm not going to be maintaining the Google Doc. That'll save me some trouble, and, but everything else will be the same. So I just wanted to explain that. Maru Ducampo has, um, Maru, Maru De Campo is in the Facebook chat, the Facebook stream. Welcome over here if you want to join us. And some people do that. They join us here on Facebook and uh, some join us in the, in the chat. Whoops. Uh oh, sorry. I was trying to stop that share. Okay, there we are. So, thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's really about all I wanted to say tonight. Other than that, it's open mic and our. Um, you were telling me earlier about your um, what, what are you doing with Chi exactly? He's he has a group or something like that. That's uh, yeah, we have a group about uh -huh. 70 students mm -hmm. um, on a Chinese uh, that platform is mm -hmm. Chinese, a Chinese style. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Ding Talk, but so far we haven't figured out how to uh, do um, learning management system. Mm -hmm. Can you put a link in the text chat? I think you um, gave me a link earlier. Well, it's like an app. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's it, it's not TikTok? on the internet. TikTok or? Um, well, Ding Talk. Ding Talk. Ding Talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, under Alibaba's um, um, platform. Okay. I think. Alibaba's I... company. Uh huh. Uh, does the app itself have a link? Mm, I don't I'll, think I... so. If I can share my screen, but right yes, now I. You can. Mm -hmm. I can? Yes, you can. I've set it up where you can. Okay, how, how can I sh share my... Uh, uh, on my computer, you, there's, a sh there's a green share button with an up arrow. Hold on, now, let me see. There must be one... I'm using, I'm using my cell phone right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it must be. I, would, I don't know if it's on your cell phone. It, it could be that mm -hmm. you don't have the yeah. capability. I don't know. Okay, let me see if I can change the 
Yeah. There we go. This, oh, right? okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes. Very good. Okay. I'll just use this. This is my iPad. Okay. Okay. There's your desktop. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can see this Mr. G talk. Mm -hmm. And this is our group. Mm -hmm. There were, oh, okay, that means there are seven, about 71. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 71 person in the group. Uh -huh. Okay. It and looks, uh, yeah. yeah. Looks like Facebook. And, you know, yeah. This is um, online class. And uh, intensification. This is Ding Talk. Um, Ding Talk. Yeah, Ding. Ding talk. Yeah, Ding Talk. Yeah. yeah. You know, lots of uh, links here. This is me, Chi, mm -hmm. and this is the manager of mm -hmm. our group. Mm -hmm. And our group pioneer group, CPA pioneer group. Mm -hmm. CPA this um, talking uh, confident, proactive. Mm -hmm. um, assertive CPA. Okay. Uh, we we used to share something uh, in uh, here. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is on Wednesday or Monday. Let me see. Uh, Mr. Chi talk like this. Okay. No, Sorry. I didn't hear that one. Many people Mini. are very patient people. So be patient and strive to understand what the other person's point of view is. So you can hear this, right? Yes. Yeah, we heard that. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah. Tyler, did you understand everything we said? We are, this is our demo. Tyler, are you here? Yes, yes. Okay. okay, so Chi is able to talk to the yes students. Yes means you understand the yeah. communication cycle, or yes means you are here. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think maybe we can try this one. I think if your students don't understand um, Mr. Chi, you know, the students can, you know, like this always. Click, click here. Yes means you to, understand you know? the communication cycle, <laughs> or yes means you are here. So uh, I think this is a good way for um, for the students to do um, uh, to learn from Mr. Chi in the first step because you know in China we don't have foreigners in the classroom, so um, maybe we can learn this way for the students to get used to Mr. Chi's pronunciation, speed, and uh, tone, you know, everything. I mean, when, when all the students get to know, understand everything Mr. Chi teaches us in this, in, in this class, and we will just change like this, you know, you can uh, make a presentation here, mm -hmm. and we can look at him and he can show us uh, his PowerPoint or, you know, whatever. I think that this is a way in the first demo, I think. So um, maybe um, next week we'll, we'll do this in our, in our group. <laughs> you know, in the first, um, at first, no one respond, only me. <laughs> only me, I, re I respond to him. Because I don't think, you know, if it's, um, no, if there's nobody um, answer Mr. Chi's question, he will just ask me. <laughs> mm -hmm. He asked okay. me to, to load something, video or, you know, PowerPoint. Okay. And you say there's 70 people in one conversation. And these are going on synchronously or asynchronously? Um, that means are they going on live? They're speaking live to one another, or are they? Are, do you read the message and you respond to it later when you see it? Um, well, in this group, there are um, 13, 13 people. 
Mm-hmm. This is called CPA Pioneer Group, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, the other six uh, people are teaching assistants, including me. Mm-hmm. So um, in this group, CPA, uh, this is a students group. Mm-hmm. So we, in the first demo, Mr. T just hold his cell phone to show us something in in his yard and uh, talk with us. Um, but you know, um, he talked a little. He talked mm-hmm. a little fast, and uh, maybe the students uh, couldn't understand him better. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So I, that's why I I want to try this one in the next demo. Mm-hmm. You know, just like this. You know, just um, record himself and to send it here, and the machine, the machine will, you know, immediately change his voice into uh, English text. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So so I uh-huh. think if the the students didn't get. Um, what what he said mm-hmm. and uh, you know this that will show them and they can copy and mm-hmm. pastor to another place mm-hmm. to translate because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I tried it yeah mm-hmm. it works mm-hmm. for example past mm-hmm. that's really nice yeah i sent to myself and i will just choose translate yeah mm-hmm. it will translate into chinese mm-hmm. so uh, it's not bad right <laughs> no this is very interesting I, uh, ding talk is just a chinese app yeah so it's called ali translator ah okay um well mostly i think it, it it's correct 80 percent or 60 percent i uh-huh. think Okay. So well, it's good, right? Well, that's that's the Chinese translation. But the, I mean, what I'm yeah, reading in English from English to Chinese. Yeah. It, in English, from it looks English, very. Chinese. Yeah. It looks quite reasonable in English. I I don't see any uh, any mistakes in English. So uh, the the, tra- the translation the sixty percent might be the translation into Chinese, but at least it helps the students to get an idea of what what's yeah, happening this there. Is, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is uh, something from from you, right? From me. Uh, yeah, I put it here. And oh, I okay. Like right? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, because I want to know if the translation is good or bad. Mm-hmm. Mr. Chi asked me about it. If I can mm-hmm. translate something, you know, English into Chinese, I think, well, if you if you are want me to do it in a hurry and I'll have to I'll have to try this to ah. see if it works better. Yeah. Uh-huh. So to meet his needs. <laughs> okay. So are you uh, do you understand what I said in English or you're just running to, to Chinese to make this sure is, that Yeah, this um okay. It, uh I, I can understand you uh, about seventy percent I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because right. I know, don't know that much about uh, your the, the webinar's background, mm-hmm. so I I think if I learn more, the more mm-hmm. I um, I will understand you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that there is probably a lot of background information that you wouldn't know. So yeah, yeah. but that's interesting. I mean, um, I, I mean, I used to read books in French. And on one side of the page was French and the other side is English. So you can read it in French or you could read it in English. But these were books and they, they were perfectly translated. But it's really good. I call it a, a Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is where... Are you familiar with Rosetta Stone? Do you know what Rosetta Stone is? No. It's a, it's a, a tablet that was created in Egypt and... Uh, I think part of it was in cuneiform, part of it was maybe in Greek, and part of it was in uh, hieroglyphics. And so it was meant as something that you had one tablet making announcements in three languages. And two of those languages are lost, or maybe one of them, hieroglyphics, was the one they were trying to figure out. So using the Rosetta Stone means that they could see it in, in Greek and they could see it in cuneiform. 
and then in uh, hieroglyphics. And they could then, from that, try to figure out what the, hieroglyphi what the hieroglyphics meant. So um, that's a Rosetta Stone where you have things in three different languages and you, you, can, you, can, you can figure out one and from that you can understand what the other one means. So if you know Chinese, although the Chinese uh, translation is not perfect in this case, at least you get a better idea of what the English says. And so uh -huh. that's the same thing as with my, uh, with my translations, one page in French, one page in English. I'm having trouble reading the French, but um, I could figure out the French by looking over to the English and, oh, okay, that's what that means. So that, that makes me, okay, that, that in French, that is this. Okay, so then I learned French that way. A lot of people don't agree with that method, but I think it's a, that's how it worked for uh, archaeologists trying to w figure out what hieroglyphics meant, and it, it can work for us too. Yeah, so that's a that's so a really mostly interesting. Mostly, I technique. use this. Yeah, mostly I use this translator to help me learn English. <laughs> I wonder if we have something similar in. Uh, are, are, is anybody here aware of? Uh, oh, and there's Doris. Hi, Doris. Yeah, Doris. Hi. Hi, Doris. <laughs> uh, are, are are you aware of anything that does this in a tool that you use right now? Can you get uh, Can you get audio that you can record audio uh, and send it over a chat, and the students can get the audio, and then they can translate the audio into text right there in the chat. And from there, you capture the audio and you translate it into your language. Are you aware of any? Are you using anything like that? Maru can't hear you. Doris, you're also muted. <laughs> Hey, good, oh, morning. So. good morning. Good morning here. <laughs> yeah. It's very clever, Mini, because I haven't I haven't uh, heard about it. It's, I think it's very useful. It would be great to have one in English or Spanish. Yeah, that's that's an interesting design. You know, uh, that seems very useful. Indeed. So there's something we learned something today, Mini. You taught us. Yeah. You showed us something new. Really? <laughs> yeah. And what what's the name of the tool that you're using, Mini? Ding uh, talk. Ding talk. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry. Ding talk. Ding talk. We look like Ding talk. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let me show you this. Yeah. Like yeah this. Add it okay. down. <laughs> it's, it's a Wait a Skype minute. Copy. <laughs> yeah. This one is Ding talk. Okay. Mm. Yeah. If you, for example, I want to talk talk to somebody and uh, I have to send him in text, not audio. I, I can do this. Hello, how are you? Can you see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, <laughs> it's doing speech yeah. to text as we go, yeah. and, but it yeah, also yeah. records the audio. Hands free. Yeah, hands free. Uh -huh. So I, that's why I can, I can do it when I uh, do some dishes or you know do some washing uh -huh. and um, my hands are wet and uh, I, I can talk in this way and I just click send and the sentence will just send to whoever mm -hmm. I was talking to uh, uh, but that's but that's uh, I think we okay <laughs> uh, but we have tools that will do that you know in whatsapp or any tool on an uh, uh, on a cell phone will do that. You can speak into it and it will come out in text. But you showed us where you had the audio and the text. How did that uh -huh. go about? Both. Audio, uh -huh. click on this, uh, the mic. Uh -huh. Okay. This is, this is, this is iPad. Uh -huh. This okay. is iPad. Uh -huh. it, it can record you. So uh, okay. just, just this uh, um, Click on this, you know, just you mm -hmm. put your finger up here. Okay, now you're recording. And mm -hmm. uh, you are recording, yeah, right? You can hear. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, uh, and I just release, uh -huh. the audio will be sent. Yeah. And you get the audio. Put your finger up here. And uh, you are recording, yeah, right? You can hear. Okay. Uh, when I, uh, <laughs> just... Now, how does that turn into text? That's the magic. Um, 
if uh, well, I Isn't think it, uh, mm -hmm. we can ah. so turn to the text. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yes, that's it. That's you have it. Sting talk. Yes. So it, you <laughs> record Berlin. you record <laughs> audio and mm -hmm. then it trans. Describes the from, from yeah. the audio into text. From the audio to yeah. Mm -hmm. If I speak English, it will be English. If I speak Chinese, it will be in Chinese. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and you can have it translated. And of course. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, if I can want to translate, I think uh, I have to copy and uh -huh. uh, paste. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. there is no need for English teachers anymore. <laughs> and then you have to have informants. Informants are people who speak English who can provide yeah. you the English. So very, very quickly, right? <laughs> and how did it do? But not 100%, but okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's okay. Maybe mm -hmm. the, I think the computer, um, I mean, this software is learning, right? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I, uh, if, if, you know, this is um, for us to score it. I can give it a score. For example, I can give it, uh, mm -hmm. For example, um, okay, if I always, I can give it four stars. Four. That means 80%, yeah? 80% mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is correct, right? Okay. And they will know, well, this is 80% correct. They mm -hmm. will um, learn a lot mm -hmm. and try to, try to get much better, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, I don't know. <laughs> Who develops the software? Good. Um, I don't know. It's called Ali, mm -hmm. Ali Translator. Like Alibaba. AI. Alibaba. Yeah, AI, AI uh -huh. Translator. Oh, okay. It's a machine, yeah, it's a machine, mm -hmm. AI. Oh, uh, Dr. G. Intelligence, right? Uh, oh, Mimi, it was done by Ding Ding, right? Hi, Chi. Hi, Chi. Hi, Chi. Hi, Chi. Hi, but nice I'm to waiting. see you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm showing <laughs> Dean talk to them. I know it. it I, I'm beginning to learn as well. But to give you a little <laughs> history here, Dean talk was developed by Ding Ding, Alibaba, and mm -hmm. Ten Cents. And uh, we've been yeah. working. I've been working with many on this. This is very good program. Yeah. But well, you'll uh, be able. Also, mm -hmm. The issue here that many is that will Dean talk be outlawed with uh, with uh, uh, WeChat? WeChat? We, WeChat is well, it, as long as the current president is president, yeah, it might have some problems. But I think it, it's supposed to be uh, discontinued in 45 days, right? Well, WeChat. Oh. Correct. But but that's in the United States, isn't it? Well, the way we can circumvent it is if we, they can still use it, but for them, you cannot download it after 45 days. Oh, isn't, is it a product of China or from the United States? It's a product, huh? China. It's no, from, United States. no, no, it was created by China. It's created by China, but the United States users cannot download it. Well, well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not confuse them yet. We'll, we'll confuse them. No, no, Number you'll enlighten us. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, it was created by China. Uh -huh. And Number two, uh, they are in the process of trying to, Trump is trying to ban it from the U.S. Now, yeah. obviously, there are some programs that are banned by China, like Google and Google and YouTube. Mm -hmm. That be seen in China and Facebook. So therefore, the Chinese have WeChat, which is equivalent. They also have programs like Ding Ding, Ding mm -hmm. Ding, and as well as Ding Talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that being said, uh, I've been trying to discover all the bells and whistles of WeChat as well as Ding Talk. Mm -hmm. uh, from Zoom, Zoom is created Ooh. by uh, Eric Yong. And Eric used to work for uh, uh, WebEx, WebEx, and WebEx was sold to uh, Cisco. 
And uh, currently, where a Zoom is not allowed in China, not that I know of, they can use it. Uh, Mimi, how does that work? You, you currently have a copy. So can anyone in China download and use Zoom? Uh, you mean Zoom? I can use it, no problem. But okay. no Facebook and Twitter. Hmm. Okay, now does that mean that if you have Zoom now in China, then uh, uh, you can use it, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so can anyone download Zoom right now? I think so. Yes. Okay. They talked about banning it from China. How does that work? Uh, in fact, I I download the app Zoom, and also right now I was uh, I am using a, a web website. I didn't. I don't think the two are connected. I I don't know, but I I'm using my um, brochure. Mm. What is the brochure? Let me see. VPN? Mm, no, mm -hmm. no, I don't have VPN, but, mm -hmm. uh, but it works. <laughs> right, right. Magically, magically, I think. <laughs> They'll confuse us. But anyway, <laughs> my 10 cents worth there, Vance, so. Mm -hmm. I can use my cell phone, laptop, and uh, also uh, my iPad. Uh, with Zoom. With Zoom, yeah. Correct. Okay, now, currently, I'm, I'm doing, I think I told you, I'm using 90% of all my activities on the cell phone. I've gotten off the laptop. Uh, the only one I found that really will give me the type of speed I need is the uh, Chrome, the Google Chromebook. Do y'all have Chromebook in China? I don't know what it is. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, uh, Apple computer, uh, mm -hmm. Hewlett Packard computer, Huawei computer. Then you, 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 you go to a, then, you know, Google, you're familiar with Google. Google has created oh, it. No, no system. Google for me. I couldn't I open Google. Right, right, right. But then that's the issue is Chromebook. Uh, Chromebook, Chromebook is of uh, of uh, Google. Can now, can you spell the word? Oh, okay. How to spell it? Uh, C H R O M E. Oh, okay. It's Chromebook. a browser. It's a kind of. It's a, a computer. Browser. Yeah, it's a, a Chrome is a, Chrome is a, cr a browser. The Chromebook is a computer. A, a browser. Okay. Okay. Chromebook is a computer. He's right. I think I have it. You seen it? But I'm not sure if it works. Yeah, I think I have it. But uh, it, it's um, it's not in English. It's in Chinese. I see. See mm -hmm. what what's happening is you know we need to ask the other people there, uh, Doris, and some of the other people what kind of system are they using because we're I think we are all in agreement that that technology is taking over because of this pandemic. So the issue is how are they transferring information over to the students? Doris, can you address that? Oh, um, well, I'm using Google. <laughs> and all my students use Google too. So this is pretty common here in Argentina. Uh, some of them use uh, Microsoft, you know, they have the Microsoft system in their phones, but I use Google, so I tell them get a Google account, <laughs> and that's how the how it he, he goes. We're using uh, Google Classroom for our classes as a platform to support. Uh, mostly we use Zoom and uh, WhatsApp as a, a second sec, uh, a back channel. I see. I see. I don't know. <laughs> How about I see well, hi nice to meet you is the same here we use uh, Google and the Ministry of Education is using Google suite to teach online and it will be using uh, television the normal channels in next semester so 
That's the thing we use. I see. I'm mm -hmm. in Mexico, by the way. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, uh, in the past, the, you know, I, uh, Vance and I go back, uh, Vance, how many years? 25 years or 20 years? Um, well, I, you know, I don't, it's something like that, probably 20 years because uh, web, you, you're one of the original web heads and uh, that started in late 1990s. And I met you in Texas. I don't remember exactly when, maybe early 2000s, something like that. Right, we, right. Yeah, so, uh, and, and uh, Chi lives in Bel Air, Texas, and I was living in Katy. And um, so, well, anyway, we hooked up and we, because we'd been meeting online, and I, I was in Texas, so back in those days, you like to meet people who you interact with online. And um, so we've been friends ever since and uh, kind of kept in touch with one another. So, you guys there, uh, like Bob Hip, Hip, how's he doing? Did you hear from him? Bob? Right. Bob Hip, I believe that's his Hibbs, name. John Hibbs, John Hibbs. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know. I've been thinking about him. I don't really know. Uh, John Hibbs is a, someone who uh, kind he's of turned... Yeah, he, no, he's in Oregon. He's in, he's in, I actually last saw him in Eugene, Oregon. I went there for a job interview probably in about 19, uh, sorry, 2010, something like that. And right. uh, he was doing well at that time. But it, what John Hibbs did was he started back in the days of telephones. He, he, got, he, he basically launched a virtual ship that sailed around the world in 24 hours. And he, he imagined the idea of this voyage. But the ship would stop at different places every hour. And the people in that location would uh, would jump on board and give their presentations. And that was kind of a precursor to WebEds in Action Online Convergence. That's what really inspired that. And, uh, uh, but John, um, I don't know, I really just haven't been in touch lately. Uh, although we've done a, few, a couple of presentations together every now and then, since then. Well, that's good, that's good. You still keep it good work. You know, try to tie all of these people together. Yeah. Uh, uh, with Mimi and I, I, I just I was just introduced to Mimi about several months ago, a couple of months ago, and we've been talking. Now I've talked to her about fifteen years ago when she was Mimi. You were teaching in Nanjing, is that correct? Muted. <laughs> uh, well, at the moment I was uh, teaching a class about seven about seven children in my garage <laughs> at that time uh-huh in two, 2000 2004 to 2014 i see i ten see years yeah 10 years wow time passes but but you, you're still young while uh vance and i are getting old <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're all getting old. This is inescapable. <laughs> we stopped time, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I do see Don. You remember Yao Dong? Yao Dong, yeah. Uh, Yao Dong is. Uh, what can you say about Yao Dong? He was. He was in the. I, actually, my first Tesla EJ article was about him. I could find a link and put it in the text chat. But he uh, was putting his students in in. Uh, uh, China, uh, Lu, Lu Zhao, in Lu Zhao, China. He was putting right. them in touch with students all over the world. Um, and he was very, uh, if people visited China, as I did, I went to see uh, Yao Dong. And um, he was very hospitable. And uh, I'll, I'll, find, uh, I'll find that, that uh, in fact, I'll even share it. Okay, go ahead and carry on the conversation. I'm going to look around for it. Um, All right. Yeah. But, but mm -hmm. y'all don't change his name to protect the innocent or the guilty. He changed it to Don now. Yeah, but like Minnie is actually somebody else in Chinese. So. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I, I'm, I'm the only one that haven't changed the name yet. I think I'll change my name to John or something like that. Well, I thought your name was Bob. Oh, no, that is different. <laughs> <laughs> it's Han Chi. Han Chi, okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I, 
but I'm trying to find something close to that, which is John, Han, but Hank. anywhere. Hank? Hank, well, H-A-N-K. <laughs> H-A-N-K. All right, I'll put a K on there. I do have a student by the name of Hank, by the way. Uh -huh. I can send you information about him, but he's not a student anymore. He's graduated. He graduated from the University of Texas with a 3.99, and he has a program called uh, 4.0 GPA where he's trying to help some of these challenged kids to go to college. Uh, he would get scholarships for them and so on and so forth. And he has this program. He, he's able to get grants from the government as well as the city and all over the place now. And then from there, he would pass out these scholarships to these youngsters. But, you know, he, he's devoted to education. I think what we're trying to do is identify those who are devoted. Now, since I talked to you last there, Vance, I was teaching in, uh, in Houston. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can I send over stuff. I was teaching in Houston to some uh, uh, speech and debate. And I took some of these kids to the uh, speech and debate tournament, as well as taking them to national tournament. But that was in 2002 to 2006. Now well, here's Yaodong and Yaodong students in 2002. I wrote an article about him uh, for Tessel E.J. It was the first I think actually Yao Dong wrote the article. Wow. Uh, let's see, what does it say? No, by me, I guess. Okay, I wrote the article about Yao Dong. Uh, there's a picture right. of him in here somewhere. Oh, I thought there was. Anyway, I put the link in the text chat. Okay. Oh, well, I thought I had his picture in there. Um, anyway, yeah, so you can read, read more about him there. But if you have an opportunity, try to download WeChat. One of the big complaints in, in the U.S. is obviously that they, they, they take information that we send or use in WeChat and, and they archive it. And in archive it, they can access it. So obviously the government, from their point of view, they're saying, okay, we're going to go ahead and gather, and, you know, gather all kinds of information about you and uh, so on and so forth. Whereas, you, you know, from our perspective from the US perspective we're thinking oh okay you're gathering information we want our privacy to be maintained but at the same token they uh, the the Chinese do not think the same way their thinking process is that they are going to use that information that they gathered and use it to make the citizen comply more in terms of what they need them to do so it's a different point of view uh, whether it's good or bad that's a moral question, but uh, it's a functional thing from their point of view. Uh, let me see. I'm going to share something else. This is a, I just put a li another link in the text chat. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get into Zoom. Here we go. Um, ah, Zoom. Ah, here we go. This is a, uh, is this WeChat? What I'm putting on the screen right now. Is that WeChat? Yes, that looks like it. Okay, yeah, this is this is the guy who's who's using WeChat to with students in China, and did a little research about it, and uh, you yeah. can read that from the last link I just put in the text chat here. So he he did some research about it and wrote about its uh, its affordances, and. Um, Anyway, put, put, uh, I, I edited that article for the Tesla EJ. It's one of the articles, one of the people who wrote for Tesla EJ. His name is Gavin Junji, I think. Gavin. Oh, Junji was his name. Let's see, Gavin. Yeah, oh, Junji Gavin Wu. So uh, his English name was Gavin, he and Junji Wu is his name. I see. From the University of Hong Kong, Kowloon. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you can you can read that article in the. If you go to the text chat, you can link to that article. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Let yeah. me see. Now we wanted to share something. We would share it from. Uh, let's on see. many was having trouble finding that on the cell phone, but I have opened up sharing to participants. So if you have the 
feature available on your device, then you can, uh, you can share your screen. I noticed that someone named Cam Chan is here. I don't know. Cam, yeah, Cam is here. Oh, That's okay. Dr. Chan. Hmm? Uh, Dr. Chan graduated from Rice University with organic chemistry. Wow. And he's been teaching for quite some, a number of years now. Uh -huh. He's an old guy. He's a little uh, bit younger than I am, but he's still an old guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you're younger than he is, then he's old. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, here's the wife. Okay. So how do I get out of that and go back? Uh, you find the share again, you hit it again, and it unshares. Stop share. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. stop share. And if I want to share again, I go back in and, and redo it. Yeah, if you pull something up on the screen, you select what you want to share from one of your windows, or I'm not sure how it works on a cell phone, but I suppose an app that's open. And then uh, uh, Minnie was able to share. Well, actually, she was just photographed her her screen. She showed us uh, she showed us uh, Bing Talk. Okay, these were my students back in uh, 2006, 2000 and, yeah, 2002 to 2006. Mm -hmm. the, the school, you, you, are you familiar with A-Leaf? Yes, Houston? it's in, it's a district in Houston. Huh? All right, A-Leaf uh, have four high schools, Hastings, Elsick, uh, Taylor, and Kerr. And Kerr was a, uh, a second thought. And the reason why it was, was because the, uh, the building was a Federal Reserve uh, a bank building for some reason, and the school district bought it. And they wanted to create a new concept there whereby the uh, students would be like in a gifted school type of, of uh, situation. So they took the pattern from a Canadian school and they implemented it there, whereby the process is that the teachers would facilitate the student's activity rather than to teach them. It's like flip class in a sense. So they would facilitate by telling the students some basic information and then they put them on a scavenger hunt where they would go to the packet, they call it packets, and they go to the package and get the information, they study it, then they go take a test on that situation and then they go back. Once they pass that test, they go on to the next packet. Now, they found that concept to work very well in the sense that it allowed the students to go on to college uh, in a larger percentage than the most of the high schools in Houston as well as in Ailey. I think they send about 90% of their students to college. But the situation is that everybody's always looking at the end game statistic and that would be how many of these 90% actually graduate from college. So they found that it was a higher percentage simply because they were on that process of going and gathering the information themselves. I think we can say that, that those students that are doing that are more highly motivated than the average students that actually go to college to have a good time. Anyway, going back to the speech thing, uh, when I came there in 2002, the principal was at, uh, interviewing me and needless to say, uh, they're she was telling me that their speech teacher had left to go to lost wages to win his fortune and that he was no longer interested in teaching. They have never won a speech tournament in eight years of their existence at Kerr. So when I got there, the principal said, you're Asian, aren't you? And I said, well, uh, I can be Asian if I can get this job. You sound so Texan to me. <laughs> I can help that there, Vance. <laughs> It depends on what kind of accent I need at the time. But in me any too. case, yeah, me too. <laughs> so in any case, what happened is that uh, uh, what we did in the speech situation was that they were, they were very underconfident. They didn't believe in themselves. They didn't know what to do. They were all, if you notice the, the, the kids, they're all diverse students from all over the place. I got Honduras, India, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, Liberia, Africa, and so on and so forth, China. It, it's a big hodgepodge of kids. When we went to the tournaments, the kids had a difficult time uh, relating. They always wanted to go because, you know, it was a 
speech and debate is a higher level of uh, academic pursuit for, for, you know, for the most part. So then because they want it to go, but they can't see themselves winning, their, their confidence level was extremely low. So I set out a mantra for them. And the mantra was, who are you? Not me. I am Barack Obama, or for example. Now, that being said, Barack is an extremely good orator and a good speaker, not like our current president. But in any case, what happened is that uh, if they lose in contests, it wasn't their fault. It's Barack Obama's fault. So as a consequence, it's called you're acting your role as a speaker. You're acting like somebody else. So therefore, you're, you don't have to be embarrassed when you make a mistake. Anyway, to make a long story short, they went from zero trophies to 175 when I left. Now, there are two girls over here. One of the other girls is not in the picture. But the one on the far left-hand side is Chinese. So when I took, there was a one, there's a kid over there, a, a black kid in the back to about to the left side. And he was the one I took to the national competition and he did extremely well. He's currently, he went to Tulane University. Then he went to Chicago Law School, graduated from Chicago Law School and is currently practicing corporate law in Chicago. But then I was, planning to take these two Asian girls to national because uh, it's the stereotype of the Asians, you know, that they're extremely shy, they can't speak or so on and so forth. But when I told these girls to get ready to go to national, needless to say, they said, we can't do that. I said, what happened? I said, because we got boyfriends. Oh, okay. If you're not gonna work, <laughs> if you're not gonna work, I'm not going to work. So that's for that reason, I stopped teaching. Mm. The one over here, and I'm, I have all these stories. You see the, the black girl in the middle. To the right of her is a, a, a black, uh, kind of a black student with an orange shirt. You see him? His story is his father is Chinese. His mother is black. And... Uh, Hey, they, they, they were divorced. The father eventually ended up in Silicon Valley and the mother went back to Georgia. So they left him with the grandmother, okay? So when I stopped teaching, he had started with me as a freshman all the way up to his junior year. When I stopped teaching, I felt bad for him simply because, you know, he was one of the students that would always follow me around and doing the best he can. He was, he was an excellent speaker a very good voice, good personality, intelligent. Well, all of kids were intelligent, but, but, but he was, you know, especially, you know, in that zone, you might say. Ah, my wife but, is uh, trying to tell me something here. Uh-oh, we, we don't want to disturb it. <laughs> I think Hi. it must be dinner time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stretch out my story here. I mean, I can go on and on, uh, but, uh, in any case, uh, you 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 get the idea. Maybe mm -hmm. next time, I'm a storyteller. And it, hi, hi, how are you? Oh, there we go. How are you? Hi, everybody. <laughs> are you guys having a good uh, conference? This is cheese yeah. from Claire. All right, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we are. And there's Dr. Yeah. Kim. Are you? Dr. Yes, it's good. good morning. It's it's in uh, I'm from uh, Vancouver right now. It's six a.m. So how how are you, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> nice to see everybody. Yeah. Okay. Is that the table? So anyway, though it's uh, it looks like it's dinner time here, and all right. This is uh, and we're and we're really enjoying from many learning about uh, this app that you're using, Ding Dong and Ding Talk. Sorry, and uh, yes, uh, she was showing us how it works, and we thought it was pretty interesting. The way that it, um, um, you know, does it puts in one space things you can actually. I mean, we have uh, voice to text and we have Google Translate, but in that one space, that one app, you can speak and you can get a text rendition of that in the one app, just you know, by choosing it and then get a translation in your language. That's really interesting. That's a nice. Uh, I don't think we've seen that. 
in one mm -hmm. tool before. So uh, appreciate well, that. The, the, yeah, the nice thing about it, though, Vance, is technology has caught up with us and it's really taken yes. us to where we need to go. But, you know, with the, the, the people don't pay attention to it, but because of the pandemic, we're on, on it right now. So. Oh, yeah. Well, what time is it there? It's about eight, uh, nine o'clock? Nine o'clock, yeah. Yeah, it's not really late, but it is dinner time. So. Oh, you're, you're, in, you're in Malaysia now, right? Yes, uh -huh, yeah. Hmm. So yeah. the time zone would be the same as Minnie's time zone? Uh, yes, I, yes so. it is. China is the uh, same yeah. time, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. All over Asia here. Oh, yeah. okay, good. great. Well, 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 I'm not going to keep you because I know the stomach talks. You know, otherwise you can't talk. It's a social thing with your wife. You know. I do a lot of webinars. I try to be considerate of her meal times. Yeah, that's good for you. Yeah. Anyway, well, it's nice of everybody so, to come. Before you go, yes? Mimi, yeah. are you in, in China now? Yeah, I'm in China. Are, and you are Chinese? Yeah. Yes. Right. And, and, and I'm sure that you know a lot about um, the emperor, the first emperor, and the Terracotta army. In Chen. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, repeat? Chien. Okay. Chien. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Oh, um, I was wondering if you know about the Terracotta army and the first emperor. The in relationship first emperor in Xi'an, yeah, uh, Q I N. So, yeah. you, you know, you are I, interested in uh, in our history, right? Yes. Our history or yes, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I got a little project going on with my students, and and uh, this is about a little. Um, this is is a. Uh, you know, it's about virtually anywhere. Is a, is 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 no no. It's just it's a story. You know, we're try, we're work we're following an audio series that is called virtually anywhere, and in this series, the characters go and visit different places. Okay, and they go because they are archaeology students. Okay, so they visit uh, the Terracotta Army and the Emperor's Tomb. Okay. So uh -huh. what I'm doing now is that we're working on that series and uh, we're working on, on, on the history part of this. Uh, and I'm looking for uh, people from the different places, you know, someone from China, I just need someone from China, a teacher from China that can meet my students and tell them about the Terracotta Army and the uh, Emperor, okay? but from someone from the, the country. So uh, you look like, uh, you know, you could be that, <laughs> that person. So I wanted to invite you to meet my well, students and tell them about that. Will Is this, that possible? How, will this be in a virtual York, world? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, will it be I, think, in a virtual I think so. World? Sorry. I was going to yeah. add. No, okay. no, it could no, be okay? Zoom and, and we can share the, the screen and go into the virtual world because I already said that uh, we already set an exhibition about the, the Zerakota army and, and the story. Um, but it's always interesting to listen from, you know, I always tell my students, you know, you have to learn English because you want to know the news about the world and you don't have to wait for CNN to tell you in Spanish <laughs> why, what is it, okay? So you oh. have to talk to the people from those places. So if this person speaks English and the English is, is yeah. a means, okay? So that is high, more motivational, I think. So that's the, my invitation, you know, I wanted to invite you and maybe Dr. Chi? No, no, not doctor, just plain yeah. old Chi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Plano. Plano. Okay. <laughs> when you when you say about uh, the uh, first emperor, is that the Qing Dynasty? Many. Yes, I see the the first one, the first emperor according yeah, yeah, to yes, the. Yes. Oh, the Qing, the, Qing, the Qing Dynasty. The Qing Dynasty. They have a, they have a yes. tomb in uh, in. Uh, Xi'an. Where? Xi'an. Xi yes, right? in, in the city yeah. of Xi'an. Yeah. If you want right. my email address, I can give you Doris, and uh, okay. you can write. Yeah, you can write me in email, and okay. uh, if uh, I if already. You think
sent you a help. private message in 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 zoom did you see the private message did you get it a private message okay, with the with my info so we can get yeah. it in touch you know okay i'll oh. i'll share my um my email well, address for you please to, to write <laughs> to me and uh if i can help you i will be glad to to do Maybe I need to do a search before. Yes. Uh, yes, I mean, yes, you can have all the time. I mean, it can be a. We are, this is a, know, a work in progress. We, can, we are in COVID and this is something new. This is not, uh, I mean, everything has changed. Now, now you cannot plan too much, you know. And as I don't have regular students, like I don't work, uh, right now I'm not working at a university. I got private students and they are, I mean, I had to find ways to motivate them and do something. Yeah. That is, you know, you don't have to follow a, a program curriculum. or anything. Yes, a right. curriculum. So this right. is a, 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 well, and now that is the chance that we can use technology and, and we have been learning so many things through many years. So I, uh, this is the chance to, to, to uh, you know, use or put in practice or, or work on those old projects that you, all those ideas that you get when you're, oh, but I cannot do it that now because my students are doing this and I am in this place. And, and but now, you know, um, we're like, okay, you have to have the magic to motivate the students only to convince them to go and follow you, you know? And, right, right. So, and this you, is a great opportunity like this. I didn't plan. I mean, I had been for, you know, it's hard to find teachers from China. <laughs> You know, I've been asking around. There are not many, so I hope you you don't know. It was it's a blessing that I found you here today, many and and that Doris, you can. Doris, yeah. uh, hmm. if you yeah. have a chance, go download WeChat. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes, I will be a lot to, to show you. This is my instrument, and oh. this is another one. Yeah. What is yeah. that? You know, in the episode, in the episode, in, in that uh, when they get into the tomb, yeah. because they get into the tomb through the virtual uh, anywhere machine, they see an instrument, an old instrument. So yeah, this instrument. is wonderful. Yeah. You can talk about that, and you can show the instrument, and that's related to the story. You know, that's wonderful. Yeah, if you no. are interested, I will show you. This is about three thousand years ago. You know. Wow. Yeah, it's called well. Qutin. This is called Gu Zheng. There's 20, uh, 21 strings. 21. There's a seven. Seven strings. And I can play it. <laughs> I can play it right now. She's very, wow. she's very good at it. Very good at it. Wow. You know this, right? Know. Much. You know this, yeah. Wow. Oh, I love those things. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> um, a player, not a musician. <laughs> But uh, this is uh, what I uh, mostly do when I have spare time. And uh, I'm sure I will show you one day when I uh, get everything prepared. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> we, we can have a follow-up um, to this. Well, I'm 48, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The year of 48. I, I, took, I go to the, the uh, place to, to take this. <laughs> well... That's all. Well, yeah. yeah well, we, wonderful. We can, we I will write you an email. <laughs> Doris, your work is amazing. Okay, I write me. <laughs> since you were shining with your students in Venezuela, <laughs> Doris is no. really an amazing teacher. She really knows how to teach and engage people. And uh, now she's yeah. in like yeah, So I really, and if you guys hook up, why don't you come and tell us more about what you of do? Of course, of course, of course. This is, as I told you, it's a work in progress, and it, mm -hmm. every day is the, the, there is a surprise. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> something we are like working, and on the way there are people jumping on the on the on the adventure. Yeah, because fun. these are uh, yes, there it are nine episodes, so mm -hmm. there is a lot of possibility. We already have a presentation about the palace of uh, the Goslar Palace in the Imperial Palace of Goslar. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, by, by a teacher in Germany. So, uh, and I got also Henia from Mexico, you know, now, Mini is going to help us with the Chinese part. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, this is something that we're thinking of presenting at the Evo sessions that we're going to be for the next year. Mm -hmm. So we're already uh, working on that. 
Doris, okay. are, are you making videos? Are you making videos? Oh, yes. Well, so far we're, we're making uh, matching images in the virtual world. Right now we are uh, recording the, uh, shooting the, the, the episodes. All um, right. Are you familiar? If Write this one down if you don't mind. A Z A Z screen recorder. Okay. And also download U Cut Y O U C U T. Right, because you can you can take videos with your cell phone, correct? Yes. Right. So then, once you take the videos, you can use. Uh, uh, for example, let me give you a typical. Let's suppose you go to YouTube and you find a video there that you like, mm -hmm. all right? Then you would click on AZ Screen Recorder and copy that video, okay? Number two, once you finish doing that, then you go into U-Cut and you can edit it in U-Cut. It's a simple process. Usually I can make a video in 10 minutes from start to finish. <laughs> And, and, you know, as a teacher, all we want is some teaching equipment or teaching material to work with. And yes, I got a, I got a, a 10 year old that the other day showed me something like that. You know, he when he right. likes something, he records the, the video and then he plays back. OK, so must, that must be the tool. Well, they, they, they do it for gaming. You know, these kids like to play games on computer and then they copy it with a screen recorder. Once they copy it with a screen recorder, then they can go back and edit it and make, make TikToks. You heard of TikTok, yes, right? Of well, course. they make little TikToks <laughs> out of it. So <laughs> now we can do it for education because you can take, uh, let's say, a YouTube about China or Germany or wherever else there is in the world, copy that, and you can voice over it, talk over it, and have your students. You can add music to it. You can add text to it. In fact, if... I'll send you some of mine. If, if, take to do this, uh, uh, Doris. Uh, well, maybe you can show show us uh, next uh, Sunday a little bit. Okay, you can. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Tell us, and, uh, and we can do that together. We, we're All right. Steady, we we got Bobby anticipating that you know she's she's she got the dinner out now, and now it's getting <laughs> cold. <laughs> yes. oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yes, this Sunday we can do that. Okay. So All we right. have uh, something Sunday, to look please. at too. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds okay. great. <laughs> so next it's Sunday will be the fifth, the sixteenth, the sixteenth of August, because August. today is the ninth of August, yeah. twenty twenty, and this was uh, Learning Together episode four hundred and eighty-three. So next week, wow, will be 80, <laughs> forty-four, maybe even four eighty-five, because I think we've got one coming up in the middle of the week. So anyway, it's good to see everybody here, and all right, welcome Are you back. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to learning more together with you guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Nice summer. meeting Take you care. guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right. okay. Bye, Bye. 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 Signing off. Thanks. Okay. Take care. <laughs> Everybody. I've got to bye -bye. turn off all the all the streams. Stop the live stream. Facebook. Bye, Facebook. We're leaving Facebook <laughs> and the recording is about to stop too. So bye everybody.